We never know when we meet a person how our lives might intertwine. These are the things Ruben Southall considers as he sharpens his look for the day. He came to me one day, he said, man, you've been wearing those bow ties and I want to learn how to tie. said, Ruben, it's not difficult. It really, people think tying a bow tie is complicated. It is not, it is very simple. So once he showed me that and I practiced it a few times, um, I kind of got it down. Harold Harris had no way of knowing at the time he'd be walking Reuben through something far more complicated and frightening than tying a bow tie. Last year, Reuben, suffering with diabetes, was told he had to make the decision of his life. They usually when you have end-stage renal disease, there are two treatment options. Either you go on a dialysis or have a transplant. Current wait list for transplant is about three to four years to get any decent kidney, which will last longer. So we always tell our patient that if you have a live donor, would, would be best because they have better results. Ruben works in IT for VCU Health, a vital component of the system's ability to care for patients 24-7. A lifetime of goodwill meant there was no shortage of people willing to test for a match. So I had my daughter. Um, she was a donor that, I got, that didn't work out. Um, the, my, at my church, the preacher's wife, um, she wanted to donate, but she found out she wasn't the right blood type. Um, we had um, another co-worker. She was very invested. And then there was Harold, his bow tie mentor. When Ruben mentioned that he was going to have surgery and he needed to have surgery and we just wanted to keep him in, in my prayers. And what happened next over the course of four days, the Holy Spirit sat on me for four days and it wasn't a heavy, burdensome weightiness. It was more of a, hey dude, I'm trying to get your attention. The message Harold heard was clear. Get tested and find out if he's a match. So about 30 days go by and I get a phone call and uh, our transplant coordinator, Maureen, who was exceptional, by the way. And when I sat in my office, she said, you're a match. What I did next, I closed my door. I almost slammed my door because I was overcome with the emotion. And I just closed my door and I just started weeping. I started crying. I started sobbing. And that was joy for Reuben. Harold wasn't just a qualified match. He immersed himself in the process. So they undergo a thorough evaluation. And as you know, Harold was dedicated, was decided, no, I'm gonna help him, period. And he met a social worker, he met an independent life donor advocate, he met a surgeon, he, he did everything, whatever we asked him to do. He was invested in the process, you know, and invested in helping me cope <laughs> with the, some of the disappointments. Dr. Body led the transplant team at VCU Health through the surgery. Using robotic technology, they did their job with typical precision. Both patients, the donor and the recipient of a healthy kidney, took their first walks down the hospital hallway together. The wives were just all happy, my mom, everybody. It was, it was just a phenomenal experience. Recovery is slow but steady for Reuben. He's determined to honor his friend's gift. Um, the transplant coordinator said, hey, you getting this um, grade A kidney, okay? Because Harold's in such good shape. You know, he's an athletic guy. He runs marathons. He goes to the gym early in the morning, all that kind of stuff. And I kind of joke about it. I said, I got an, an Olympic kidney, <laughs> you know? This story of two colleagues in our large organization is reflective of how we are doing across all professions and service lines. Every single hour of every single day, we succeed in saving lives, improving lives, understanding lives, and creating the future of healthcare. It takes every single one of us to see the value of each other to make that happen. VCU is uh, almost feel like a family. Everybody I know, we talk to each other. So this is my home. I have no hesitations to say. And when, and Harold and Ruben both proves it. I mean, to me, it just enhances the collaboration, the communication. It's almost like we're integrated. There's a difference between happiness and joy. You know, happiness is situational, it's circumstantial, it's things that you can see, feel, touch, smell. Joy is being able to know that you have been able to help someone that goes so far beyond you. I would just say, just, just joy. I, I felt humbled that somebody would donate a kidney. Two colleagues who are devoted to the work of VCU Health, to their families, and to each other. Their lives, like all of ours, forever intertwined. <laughs>